Hi, this is Chris from Needlepointers.com. Today, I'd like to show you how to repair netting like this that I use around my blueberries to protect them so that the birds don't get all the blueberries. I purchased these at Gardner Supply. Please check the description of this video or the iCard to find a link to our website where we will have a page with more pictures and description of this project, well, of fixing these, the netting, and also we'll have links to where you can purchase these types of covers for your blueberries or other fruit-bearing trees or and bushes. this is the first one I have, and I've had it for a few years now, and it does get holes in it once in a while, and that's what I'm going to show you how I fix the holes so that I can keep using it from year after year. Hopefully you can see this, but there is a fix right here that I fixed this one. And on this side, this is over by the zipper. So you see there's a zipper, and this is there on this edge. And I fixed this a last year, I think, to repair a bunch of holes that were put in there. This is another cover that I have that I use to cover up my squash plants, like my zucchini and yellow squash. This protects them from the borer beetles that are borer bug. So the problem with this is, though, is that there's this hole in there, and I'm hoping that none of the bugs got through that hole to try to get to my zucchinis and squash plants. And I want to patch this hole. Okay, so to fix this hole, I'm going to just fix this right out here where the other holes for the blueberry cage I'm going to show you how to fix on the sewing machine. But you can do this even for the holes, any of them, you can hand sew them. So for this, I'm going to try to hold these t this together somewhat and basically use the whip stitch to just close up this hole. And I just have a needle and thread and I'm going around and catching, and I'm not catching really close to the edge because it would rip. So I'm going up a little bit on each side to give it some strength. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to tie it off and then cut my thread. And that's about it. So a week or so after I was recording the video on how to patch the small hole in the front of my insect uh, cage, I noticed that something made a gigantic hole here and ripped it. I will include this in the video on how I'm going to fix this hole. In order to fix this netting, I need to find the holes. So one I found right here and this is a decent sized hole but it's not very wide. It's only a few like one two three four rows wide. So to fix this I will just basically put it together like this and then zigzag along this whole thing, mainly along these two lines to hold it together, and zigzag down, and then that should hold that together. It'll make it a little bit smaller, but it should be okay because it's not like really wide, and so then it will still work and fit on the frame. Okay, so I'm at my sewing machine now, and I have my hole here folded over, and if your hole has a lot of uh, rough edges or something here, like 
there's the, these that are just there and they're they are sticking out so it would just be extra I cut them off and then I can set my machine to a zigzag stitch and to just a normal length the default length and I can adjust it as I'm going if I think that the zigzag is not enough. So I'm just going to go along and zigzag back and forth. I'm back stitching even. And your stitching is just to basically grab a hold of something to hold to the two sides to hold it together. So I'm mainly going to go down this one, these lines where there's two sections that I'm holding together and make sure that I'm zigzagging over top of those. And back tack at the end. So, so here's the finished mend. So you can see there's no hole anymore and it's mended. I found another hole here. It's actually a couple holes. There's a little one here and a much larger one here and then a small one here. So I'm going to cut off a few of these ends that are just sticking out and patch the main hole here first. Same way as before, just zigzag over. So you can see here I have uh, those three sections sewn up here, here, and there. And I will continue looking to see if there's any more holes. So the hole in this thing that was made by probably a squirrel is pretty large. This There's a whole bunch of fabric missing here and there's a little bit a strip or so missing in this section. Then there's all those other small holes. So my idea to patch this is to use some fusible interfacing and I will cut a piece large enough for the hole and then pieces for those holes and I will fuse it down what I can. So my first step is going to be to cut this off because I don't want a bunch of extra fabric hanging down. And then I cut a piece, this piece, which is it's, it's quite a bit bigger than the hole, which is what I want because we want to have enough fabric to adhere to all the way around. And I think what I'm going to do from the beginning is get a second piece and put it underneath there first. So that I'll be sandwiching the, the torn fabric between two layers of this fusible interface. Alright, so here's my two pieces. I'm going to slide one piece with the bumpy side up. That's the side that has the ironing iron on on it and make sure I have it nice and centered there and now I'm going to place the other piece with the bumpy side facing down sandwich it in between and make sure it seems like it's pretty flat with my iron I will try to stay mostly on the fusible interfacing part so I'm spending a few seconds in each section with the yarn. Okay, so as you can see, I've placed the lightweight fusible interfacing, one on the top, one on the bottom, underneath. And I've fused them together and I have I put another strip on the top and the bottom on that section that also had a bunch of holes in it. There's this one last section here that has a bunch of little pinhole, pinhole type claw probably holes in it. And so I'm going to add one more piece over top of underneath. I have it under there already and over top. 
and fuse that down. And then this repair will be done for this year. I'll see how long it lasts. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to repair your netting and covers for your outdoor plants. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And visit us on needlepointers.com for lots of other crafting tutorials.